Did you hear that Ryan Seacrest has asked Aaron Judge to join him hosting uh, New Year's Rock and Eve? No. He's pretty sure he can help him drop the ball. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron, I love you, but that's funny. It's funny. Yankees lost the World Series. Hilarious. Josh! Welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Aaron Judge. You can follow the Instagram, Twitter for juicy content. Thank you, oh. Aaron Sports on Patreon. Follow the Twitter account, scroll like button. This is a related story to that. If you don't know what we're talking about, you missed the World Series. Did you see the scariest costume in New York City this Halloween? Probably, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Top of the fifth. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what happened in the World Series, the Yankees were leading 5 0 and ready to send it back to LA. And in the fifth inning, they fell completely apart. Aaron Judge dropped a routine fly ball. Volpe threw in the dirt a routine throw. And Anthony Rizzo and Cole didn't I cover first base. And now the Dodgers are champions. You're welcome. It's, it's the least Yankees could do for you guys. Absolutely hilarious. Because it was given to them, you know. They did nothing to earn it. I agree with The you. Dodgers. They did I, nothing to earn I, it. I think you're spitting facts I mean, right now. Just, uh, Today, uh, Freddie who? And, uh, Mookie what? Priyanka Chopra Jonas gave an interview with Forbes India just about eight, about days time. Ago, eight days ago. And it's called, I Will Return to Bollywood When. I will return to Bollywood when they get rid of their censor board. I will return to Bollywood when. I don't know. I think, I don't think that's what Priyanka would say. She loves a censor board. I, well, what do you not, think about Priyanka now? She's I, very pro censor board. No, you know what? It's a different kind of board. She likes the censor B O A R D. The, 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 like it's a board on the bed. Anyway, so this is a, uh, a, I don't know what a new a new interview here. So yeah, yeah, I hope she's happy because when Priyanka's happy. No, I miss I miss <laughs> dancing and singing and speaking. In we miss that too. <laughs> we miss oh, it's Priyanka. Priyanka has come to talk. Priyanka, thank you so much the for hell? speaking to us today. Thank you so much, Penny. <laughs> You, you've been an actor, uh, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and, and a producer, of course. How do you sort of balance all these um, number of roles that you have, and how do you add that work-life balance to your life? I think it's really crucial. I'm intentionality. Looking for, I've started looking for it a lot more, I think, um, in the last few years. I think ever since I started a family. Before that, I was a workhorse. I think I just, I'd never had any work-life balance, honestly. But um, as I'm getting older, I think I've reached a place in my life where I prioritize it. I think it's really crucial for me. Okay. Um, for Does my anybody have health, fuller lips for, than in Priyanka Chopra? Just for nope. anyone to feel a semblance of like we're living and not just, you know, dragging ourselves into surviving every day. Um, I think uh, exhaustion is glorified a lot in our professional lives that you know, you have to work till you're grinded and till you're exhausted and that's when you'll succeed. I disagree. I've learned now that working hard is very important, but so is working smart. Um, and that comes with experience, I think. So I think I always make sure that I switch off when I'm done with my work day. Um, I prioritize my work day. I accelerate it so that it's very efficient and, you know, I'm not wasting my time or anybody else's. Um, and I think you just have to prioritize what's important to you. You know, taking time to spend with your family is what makes me better to do my job. Absolutely. I think it's very well said. And, you know, you've been a part of, of course, the Bollywood industry for many years and now, of course, uh, Hollywood as well. How would you say these two industries are different in a sense? Uh, and what is your experience? I think... Every country in general is different, right? We all have our own cultural like things that we like um, and how we work. I think the one big difference I've noticed between Hollywood and Bollywood is Hollywood has so much paperwork. There is so really? much paperwork. 100 emails that'll come to you before the next day. And um, timings are very specific. So your call time can be 7.32 p.m. or a.m. You know, it's like... It depends on what time you were wrapped the night before. There's no like mm. unions baby. to play, like yeah. um, unless you're working with a filmmaker that does that. But within production, yeah. it's really like tight and yeah. it's very regimented. Very because we of have unions. a lot more jugaad, you know. We get yeah. stuff done. We're like a little romantic about. Yeah. Nikal jaka, ho jaega, kar <laughs> and you know, it's that, so it's like very different um, way of working. Mm. But that's also true to the countries in themselves, you know. I think um, our creativity, you know, ca can be super organic sometimes. And we're like, ah, oh, let's just change this. Yeah. 
Um, so that's the big difference I've seen. Otherwise, I think filmmaking around the world speaks the same language. You have the script, you have ADs, you have producers. It's like otherwise, it's the same. But I think it's just cultural differences. Do you kind of miss the the laid back kind of jugad type? No, I miss kid, kid I miss in dancing and singing and speaking in Hindi. We miss that too. <laughs> we miss that as well. I miss uh, I miss slow motion dancing <laughs> and I miss um, speaking in Hindi. You know, I'm but, sure. Or like speaking in other language besides. Yeah, English. I'm sure. No, definitely. We, I, I'm sure I'm speaking for a million people, <laughs> but they all miss you too. And we're hoping to see you back uh, I hope in so. Bollywood. I'm telling like everyone to come to me with something, you know, the, right. I'm, I'm, I've been assessing a lot of scripts and I'm hoping to lock something in soon. Yeah, you have been quite picky generally also when it comes to your roles. Um, your yeah, I mean, I've now done it for almost 25 years. last one, it's high Bollywood. time I get picky. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Uh, and when it comes was to, you know, the entertainment industry, not that. just, um, you know, country specific, but overall, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how would you say um, it has changed over the years in terms of becoming more inclusive and sort of also encouraging a lot more talent to, uh, you know, join the industry in a sense? hundred percent. I mean, when I joined, let's take it back in time, it, like early 2000s, right? Um, it's firefighters, nurses, ah! teachers. It's our families who are getting pushed. Like even female-led films or parts for women were very wallflowery. And that's, we used to get proud about the fact that we've got that part where you're like, oh my gosh, I have three songs and I have like four <laughs> scenes, it's great. Um, but I feel like my generation of actors, um, with the help of the women that came before us and fought the fight, really pivoted it for um, Indian films. You see so many female-led movies that are successful. You see um, actors, um, female actors, that are doing really substantial parts in, um, in big Bollywood movies that you would not have seen earlier very much commonly. Um, I also think that with streaming and OTT coming in, um, into the industry, it's really opened up the avenues for um, creators and writers and directors and actors from outside the pool of the film industry, you know. Um, outsiders, people who want to be a part of the industry have access now because there's such a big demand for content. So I think it's just a really wonderful time to be in the industry. Of course, every industry has its issues, but I think inclusivity, because of just sheer demand, um, has been very helpful. There's a lot of work to be done, of course, um, but I feel like we're really in the right direction. Yeah. Any particular sort of um, actors, particularly from India, that have been on your radar, whose work you've really sort of enjoyed in the recent past? Maybe on, in, in the OT, OTT space? Oh, I just saw, um, oh, you guys haven't seen it, but I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Citadel's Honey Bunny. Aww. It's so good. Yeah. I've seen um, just the first two episodes, so yeah. I don't know everything. <laughs> but um, it's so good. I think Samantha is incredible in the in yeah, the, show. Um, the show. And there's incredible. a connection between my character and um, and Honey and Bunny, which was just really fun for me to enjoy. And I just think Varun and her were amazing, and the writing was brilliant. The way it's shot, they're so good, Raj and DK. So I was really, really impressed and moved when I watched the series. Yeah. I'm, I'm very Roger glad. Roger really like you it. can be too, I Priyanka. Really it so much. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so you're here because Max Factor is launching in India. Uh, tell us about your collaboration with Max Factor and what do you think sort of differentiates the brand from, uh, you know, most others out there? Well, I've now been associated with Max Factor almost three and a half years, um, and I've done two color collections with them. I have makeup. Um, it boggles my mind how much brand. she's involved. Um, in. I'm a big beauty girl, not the just because of my job, but because the amount of things she has her hand on, you know, I feel like is astonishing. Um, Same with your mother. Beauty is yes. an expression of yourself, and each one of us wants to feel and look our best when we're, you know, taking a step into the world, and. Um, you know, makeup somehow allows us to feel our best versions of ourselves in many ways. And, uh, and any beauty, like any form of grooming or beauty, not just makeup. But um, I think the brand is historical, incredible. It's more than a century old. It, um, you know, defined makeup for the movie stars in Hollywood at a very, very iconic time, and it continues to do so even now. So it's just a really prestigious, incredible brand to be a part of. And I've just had so much fun. Um, creating colors and creating collections and um, and being able to 
innovate. You know, the brand keeps innovating, which is Priyanka, so important. She can create colors. What can't she do? That's why it survived such a long time. And um, just one last thing. You know, you've accomplished so much, right? Already. Um, is there something else that you feel like? you still want to work on or, or a particular oh, area? Work with Rick Siegel. Glass, glass ceiling for me now, Nana. Don't do Sorry. that. Um, no. So what's next? I mean, if you can tell us. So much. I mean, I still have to crack so much of what I want to do. The, the kind of work and the amount of work that I've had the privilege to do in the Hindi film industry, I haven't been able to do yet. I, I mean, I've just had a few years in Hollywood. I've done like work for almost six years, seven years now. Don't downplay so there's a lot of, Baywatch. Um, diversity in my work that I want to do in English language as well. I want to do another movie in India. I haven't done one for a really long time. I'll do some you work haven't. here. I work with want Vishal. to, um, you know, make sh like expand my business portfolio as well. Um, my company, Purple Pebble Pictures, is um, on a revamp right now, P -P -P. and we're doing some incredible work. Very incredible um, work. Yes, I mean, I yes, must congratulate um, you thanks. for that and some fantastic stuff. Thank you. Um, so I'm being really, um, the company was basically set up uh, to give opportunities to new filmmakers and new writers. Um, almost everybody that we have worked with have been like new filmmakers looking for a springboard to jump off of. I didn't have that when I started in the industry and that was a big impetus for me to start Purple Pebble Pictures and so I love when you know people come to us uh, and you know want us want us to be the shoulders that they can jump off of and mm -hmm. I feel very privileged to be that bridge between um, anybody who wants to come into the film industry and I feel very proud about it so there's so much to do this is all like just the beginning this is only my second collection with Max Factor I have so many more to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure uh, but thank you so much for your time with thank me this was so fantastic so thank nice you so much my, my main question here is, are shoulder pads back? They are for Priyanka. Priyanka can do whatever she wants. <laughs> Wait, did, did shoulder pads ever leave for women? I know in the 90s, it was, really it was big shoulder pads for women. 80s, yeah, 80s and, 90s and 90s was a huge shoulder pad era. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if that ever went away for women in suits. I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting observation because yeah. it's she's not wearing shoulder pads she here. Is, she, she is, and I think she has some shoulder pads here. Yeah, she might be. Maybe uh, might be. And that's the main. But I appreciate. I mean, this is a really nice. I mean, somebody took the time when they were putting this together. I bet they this made is, sure. I bet this is Priyanka's house. Well, uh, whatever they did, somebody put the color palette together where what Priyanka's wearing matches the outline of the windows, and what she's wearing matches the lamp. It's very very tidy. The color coordination they've done there. Wow, Rick. And there's Rick. all of the Max Factor makeup. Is that any of that stuff you use? What an astute observation, Rick. Why, thank you. Um, I hope she comes back to India cinema soon. Um, I'm sure she will. I think it's a just a matter of if, not when. She is severely missed for her talent. Yep. In, and I hope she actually gets some opportunity to really flex her thespianatic muscles here in Hollywood. Well, she said in her book, everything she's got and hasn't really yeah. done that. And if she still feels the same way she did when she wrote her book, unfinished, at the end of the book, that is the one thing that she says she really wants to do. That artistically, she wants to focus on doing good, and thankfully, good films. And then thankfully, she's in a position she can be discerning in that way. I, I We've said it a long time. She's... <laughs> A far, far better actress than the world has yet to really see. So, was it Bajiro? That's what I was thinking. When I was thinking about what was the last thing she did that we saw. In 2015, I mean, I, of course. Was Bajiro Mastani. There's Sky is Pink and there is oh, the White Tiger. Right. If you consider those Indian cinema. I and she, did, I mean, I guess if she did, you consider the dubbing she did for Frozen 2. <laughs> Yeah, of course, you know. I mean, uh, that's uh, technically a Hindi why film. Why wouldn't you? you but know? no, where she's the screen presence that is driving. White Tiger is a Hindi film. Yeah. Um, is she still in the Farhan film with Ali Abad, Katrina Kaif, and Priyanka Chopra? Don't know. Because I've heard varying mixed things on if she's still in it. Has this been shelved? that would be great. It would be. What Does IMDB just show it as in pre-production or not even there? Yeah, pre-production. Yeah. I, I, but well, it's been in pre-production forever, a right? A long time. Yeah. Sheila. What did I just hear about Sheila? 
Sheila. Australians love him. Uh, Barry Levinson. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I don't know if anything's going to happen. I was excited when I heard about that, but there's nobody else attached to that. The story of Sheila Patel, uh, who became... Ma Man Sheila. She's... Did you ever see that documentary about Rajneesh and his his cult in Oregon? No. It's called. It's on Netflix. Oh, what's it called? It's extremely well done. Um, but that's, I, a, that's that, a Hollywood thing. That is a Hollywood thing. Barry Levinson's big time. And yeah. That and that would that would be that Oscar level role, stuff right there. That role, if you if you know who the, that woman is. If it's written and done the right way, which Barry Levinson would do it, Produced. that 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 would have Oscar potential all over it to to to, to play Ma My, Anand Sheila. So if that's happening still, that's a great role for her. Hopefully, it still is. But I hope it so. It looks like a pre-production <laughs> note was twenty twenty. Well, so who knows if it's still happening? Yeah, I don't know. My hope, and I've seen nothing in the trades about that that thing at all. Hopefully, it's still happening. Uh, I mean. If you look under filmmakers, I don't think it even has a script. I think it has a. Oh, yeah. it does. Nick Yarbrough. Nick Yarbrough is the credited writer. Yeah. My hope is that, like, if something like this happens, and I think she would incorporate so many of the Indian actors from India. Yeah, which, by the way, uh, we put on filmmakers because I don't even think they have a CD connected to it yet. Do they? No, just producers and stuff. Uh, there's roles in that for us if they do. If they do what they're going to do. There's, there's, there'd be some roles for us in that. So thanks. We're going to get it. Hold on a second. Because... <laughs> Priyanka. Hey, how you doing? Uh... Um, yeah, she was a producer on that. She's done a lot of producing lately. Ton of producing. Her restaurant closed in New York, I heard. Oh, that didn't um, go well, huh? No, it's, it's sad because I only read and heard good things about it, but restaurants are difficult restaurants to hang on to. Restaurants are very difficult. Um, uh, and you're not just going to keep, I don't care how much money you've got, If, if you're not just going to keep pouring millions of dollars into something that's not making any money back. Um, yeah, so. But it, she's got makeup. She does, I mean, I, I, on her, do you follow her on Instagram? Because she's, yeah, it's just a constant. Get on Instagram. Just. Right? She's there constantly moving and grooving. But the thing that I love is they clearly make sure that they have time for themselves as family because they're always showing the shots of them together. And if they're apart, they're quickly back together again at some point. So what's why is family important? That's true. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, I hope she comes back to Hindi cinema at least. Yeah. Uh, with something great. And then also... Does stuff like doing them both. Hopefully Sheila with reputable directors that can really showcase her talent and the yeah. talent of India as well. Yeah. Like, I, I'm sure she's a producer, so I'm sure she'd be like, I don't know if it's like in Eng if it would be an English speaking thing. Would it be the American? Uh, no. So, well. The story of that? The, it, it begins, it, it starts in India. So if they do the whole story, so, which I assume they would, they would begin it in India and then he would leave India so it'd probably be English. And come to Oregon. English. It would be it would be predominantly English. It would be predominantly English because even when he spoke in India, who he attracted, a lot of Americans went to his place in India. Gotcha. He okay. got a lot of international attention and he predominantly spoke in English. Gotcha. So it would be an English sp speaking yeah. film. So I'm assuming she tried to get well, I'm I'm sure if they're talking Indian to Indian, they might it would be if you do it right though. Probably it's it's going to be, Hindi yeah, you're going to film in India a little bit and you're going to film predominantly in Oregon and you're going to have to recreate the compound. So what part of India was it? Uh, near Delhi. Okay. So yeah, it was, Hindi. it was, it would be Hindi speaking. I believe they were near, De great. Something about the wilderness. There is a, if you look up that uh, documentary, there's a very, very good documentary. And then there's a follow-up one of her, of Manan Sheila. Mm. It's a fascinating story. It's really wild. It, yeah. Wild, wild country. That's why, that's why I said it's really wild. I think it's called Wild, Wild Country on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool if it did, and then get actors from India to yeah. play all these parts. Because I think she's talked about, she wants the, the merging of worlds. Yeah, it, it would be a huge, a lot of people, a lot of moving parts in this show. You'd have a lot of cast members. I think it's a movie though, right? Yeah. But you, if you're doing her story, it's going to be expansive. That thing's going to be 
a big. You know, hopefully it happens. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Anyways, yeah. let us know uh, what our next Priyanka Chopra. Yes, please. Be, and anything else we need to know down below. Just. <laughs>